And we're back at it. Going in here with the spindle sander, going to refine the shape of the body. As you can see, I left some meat on the sides of the neck pocket just to uh, make it easier while routing that out. Probably should do most of the routing before even cutting the body, but if you watched the last video, you can probably tell I usually get impatient and uh, sometimes like to jump steps. So, anyways, I'm not going to talk too much this video. It's mostly sanding, pretty straightforward stuff. I'm just switching over to a smaller radius on the spindle here. I'm getting those tight curves of the horn. So, yeah, enjoy the soothing sounds of sped up sanding. I'm going to grab a rasp here and uh, clean up this little cutaway for uh, accessing those higher frets. And, uh, going to round over that curve right there. Alright, going to switch over to the band sander mode here. One of the cool parts about this uh, rigid oscillating sander is that you can use either a spindle or a, or a band here. So, going to get the, uh, the broader parts of the body with, with this. Oh, having a little trouble with it, just as I was complimenting it. Can sometimes be fussy. Again. Yeah, back to the spindle. Up to a higher grit, gonna go to two forty with this. Uh, now that the outline is where I want it to be, I'm going to go in with a round over bit on the router. I used a eighth inch round over here. Uh, typical Stratocaster style I think is like half inch or something, but because of the added contouring on the front, I didn't want to detract from that. my infinite genius I grabbed a piece of wood to uh, prevent that router from tipping around the horns but the clamp ended up being in the way alright so onto the random orbital sander to clean things up on the top Gonna go in with the right angle grinder here and make those uh, body contours a little more pronounced. Pretty comfortable with most power tools, but I still throw on the gloves for the right angle grinder. That thing uh, will chew up some material fast and it'll definitely chew up your hand if it gets in the way. But yeah, typically while sanding, I won't wear gloves. Um, use the hands a lot to uh, just feel feel all the curves and aspects of the guitar, and your hands will pick up uh, imperfections that you can't even see.
like my Amazon padding right there. Just duct taped a bunch of bubble wrap together. It works. All right, jumping right into the dyeing process. These are Kita dyes. They're just powders that you mix with water. Water, water. pretty simple stuff, but uh, produces a a pretty nice result. I have used this on a number of builds and uh, been happy with it so far. This is just straight black dye in water. Um, does have a little bit of a purple tint on the alder, which uh, was not the intended look, but I think still think it looks pretty cool. Didn't know how it was going to react in that uh, darker middle stripe, but uh, again, pretty pleased with the results. There it is. That's all it takes. All right. Going to go in with some 4-0 steel wool here and just knock off any of the grain that has been raised from the dye. Um, with a water-based dye like that, it's going to happen. Um, just clean it up. Vacuuming up all the little steel wool strands. Don't want those ending up in your guitar. So you might have to do that a couple times. Knock back the raised grain. Take a wet cloth and just dampen it all over. See if the grain raises again. I think I had to do this uh, two or three times. I'm going to go into the pickup cavities with some uh, conductive paint, add some shielding. I ended up throwing this stuff in the pickup cavities, the input jack cavity, the trem cavity, just all over the place. Maybe a little bit overboard, but uh don't think it can hurt. have to go in with three coats of this stuff, but pretty straightforward so just gonna show you the first one here make sure you mix this stuff up well because all that conductive goodness settles to the bottom and that's uh, that's the stuff you're after for uh, proper shielding and finally into my favorite part of the builds just adding some true oil onto this and trying to accent that grain it's just alder so the, the grain is nothing special not that pronounced but uh, this will give it a nice sheen and and highlight anything that there is to highlight so that's it for now I think the contest ends on October 17th so I got to wrap this thing up quick. Check back soon. Peace.